Hey besties, welcome back to my channel. My name is Austin and today I'm excited. Yeon from CLC had her solo debut. Um, I kind of fell in love with her after watching Good Girl on Mnet's Good Girl. Um, I really loved her Barbie performance, but just seeing her on that show in general, it was really nice. Um, I really like her personality. I like her voice. I like her rapping. So I'm interested to see what her solo debut is like. Um, she also has a song called Mermaid, Yeon only version. So I've been told that that song is very good. So I'm going to react to Mermaid and then Stranger Way to Love music video, which I think was a pre-release. Um, and then Cherry Coke, which was her debut like title track. So I'm excited to check it out. If you're new to my channel, consider subscribing. Um, I did react to CLC a bit in the past. Like, I think I've reacted to most of their title tracks. So those are old videos, um, but they're on my channel somewhere. Uh, and if you want, you can check out my Patreon where I reacted to her on Good Girl. And yeah, it was just really sweet seeing her feeling like she was awkward and uncomfortable at first. And she was the only idol on the show, kind of. Well, except for Hyoyeon. But like... It was really cool seeing her being like timid and awkward. And then at, by the end of the show, being embraced and hugged by everyone. And just, I don't know, her story, her story. I mean, it was real life, but it was also a reality show. <laughs> uh, I really liked her on that show is my point. So I'm excited to see what this debut is like. Let's go. All right. So we are starting off with Mermaid. It looks like this is a fan song. And I just realized she performed this song. She performed this song on Good Girl with, uh, I don't remember the person's name, but with a featured artist. So this is going to be my first time hearing like the studio version of the song. And I think this is, yeah, it's Yeon only version. Um, so yeah, let's go. But I'm probably going to recognize the song because I've already heard it. See, I'm glad I'm re I'm glad I'm listening to the studio version and reacting to this because like the little subtle things like that bass coming in and like completely changing the vibe of the song a little bit. That's not something I would have picked up on from like the live performance. Yes. What was that? <laughs> We're in color now. Wow, stunning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, her voice. 
voice sounds really good there. This song is a bop. I love it. Um, I think I might like it better, just her solo version without the featured artist. Are we driving? very pretty i like that song a lot um she's one of the rare like idols singers rappers where i don't have a preference um what i mean is a lot of times you have a take someone like moon Beale from mama moo uh a lot of people will say oh i like her singing better than i like her rapping or i like her rapping better but than her singing with yan it's it almost feels like it's two different people. Um, her rapping is so different than her singing, and they both work really well together. So I don't have a preference. Um, I really like her vocals. Her singing is very beautiful, especially when it's more of like, um, I don't know, like an indie quality to her voice that I really like. I don't know how to describe it. Um and then her rapping is just very versatile. I think she's a very good artist. I hope that she has a successful solo career, um, but that's probably going to come down to the quality of the songs that she gets for her solo, um, as well as, like, promotion. Um, but mostly the quality of the songs, because you can have really good promotion and spend a lot of money and stuff and have a company behind you, but, like, if people aren't resonating with the songs, then that's a bigger problem. So we're going to move right on to Strange Way to Love, which is from her solo debut. So I'm excited. I think it's from her solo debut. I'd let me not. I don't have all the facts, but this came out in March. So let's go. Sitting on grandma's couch. Fallen in love time. No captions. Okay. Ooh. Does she play guitar? So I'm going to have to look up the lyrics afterwards because there's no captions on this music video. This definitely feels like a singer songwriter, like storytelling type of like pop song. Um, I really like this. It's very good. The waves. Is this connected to Mermaid or does she just really like water? Because I feel like the Mermaid music video should have been here at the beach. Oh, 
very pretty. Interesting. The cowboy boots, I was just about to ask. I don't like comparing artists to other artists, so I try to never do that. But this song is kind of reminding me of like a Taylor Swift song a little bit or like a Hilary Duff song. It's got like this 2000s like pop songwriter vibe to it that... I really like because it's the type of music I was listening to a lot when I was that age. Um, so this feels kind of nostalgic. But then I saw her boots and I was like, wait. <laughs> That's catchy and very pretty. Wow, okay, I liked that. I think I liked that better than Mermaid. Um, interesting, Strange Way to Love. I really liked it. It was giving um, all of the vibes that I enjoy. All right, I'm back. It is the next day, I apologize. Technical difficulties, um, yay and cherry coke. Let's go. Oh, look at her. She looks great. Flavors. We got the flavors. It is so contagious. We got the flavors. It's so contagious. <laughs> if you pronounce it just right, it kind of rhymes, sort of. We got the flavors. It is so contagious. A bodacious. Okay. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Stop. That choreo? The hand thing? The... Yes! Well... You don't want to shake it before you open it because, like, it'll blow. Wow, she's gorgeous. Oh, it's a body roller. not the iconic hair flips. Um, okay, so I love this. I love it when choruses are, sometimes it's called like an empty chorus. Um, like when a chorus is, I think like NCT 127, like fire truck. <laughs> it's like the chorus and then an instrumental thing and then the chorus, but like the chorus is very minimal. It's more about the vibes of the song, and this song is a vibe. Flavors. Yeah, so it's not necessarily about having like the longest, catchiest chorus that gets stuck in your head. It's about like the overall vibe, and I love this. <laughs> Obvi. <laughs> 
This is good. Said, turn up. Yeah. Ooh. No, no, that I want to see that live because like there has to be something, the music, like that breakdown at the very end, there needs to be like a very, there needs to be some killer choreo like live, uh, the music video, there was a bit of choreo and then like beauty shots and stuff. But like, if, if we're going to do that live, that dance break needs to go hard. <laughs> um, okay. So cherry Coke, I actually really liked, I love songs like this. Um, I know these type of songs are sometimes divisive. Some people just find them like noisy or distracting. I find them as vibey and I love stuff that has a lot going on. Um, it kind of reminded me a little bit of like, if you took NCT 127's fire truck and CL's uh, Dr. Pepper, <laughs> like you smash them together, put it on ice, bitch, Dr. Pepper that's what this was kind of reminding me of a little bit. Um, but it still felt fresh and refreshing and effervescent like a cherry Coke. It was good. It was I'll, I'll stop. Um, <laughs> I liked it. It was good. Uh, it doesn't have that many views though, which makes me kind of sad because I thought it was iconic and I liked it, but I just hope that her solo career is, well received because she's very talented she can sing she can dance uh she can rap i think she can act like she's just very talented and i just want the best for her um because she's sweet so stream the music video by the album let me know your thoughts on the song let me know what is your favorite song from yen and yeah i hope you enjoyed my video i'll see you guys later bye